check out this engine bay, dudes. Yo, this is insane. What up? What up? What up? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your buddy Aaron and your buddy D from Cross Street. Welcome back to another G35 video. Oh my gosh, I wish, I wish I was able to film it, but we had a we had a little bit of distractions around here, and I just kind of wanted to bust it up and get it all done. But we went ahead and tore up this engine bay yesterday. I sanded it down, and we were able to get it painted. I did end up painting it outside with a little booth that I had built with the PVC, and then it started raining a little bit. So my man D came over, helped us get into the garage, and uh, then we were able to start the clearing and then the baking process. So I've had these lights on there pretty much all night, and it kept it at a certain temperature to allow no moisture or any condensation to build up on the paint. And so we're kind of, we're just we're left here with this amazing finish now, and I'm super stoked that I went with the clear coats at the end because it really brings out that extra shine in the paint. Sorry, y'all. I'm quiet. I'm just speechless right yeah. now. This shit is so wet, man. I just can't believe it. It's Bro. like insane, man. Bro, I can't believe it. It candy. definitely came out candy. Dude, candy as fuck. Sick as hell, man. Sick. I'm, I'm super stoked that I went ahead and did the plenum as well because like it came out came out pretty bad last time we did it. Like if you come over here and you look at these uh these VTC covers, they're a little dull right now because I've been touching them with my oily hands and everything. If I put a light on it, you'll see like a little bit of blue flake, but it's mainly black and like super dull. So the fact that I was able to get the plenum done to match the engine bay, that's gonna really pop when I have the engine in here with the plenum on top. So if you guys are ever doing any stage one uh, painting or anything like that, the biggest thing about painting is gonna be the curing process. So you're gonna make sure that you have the perfect temperature between 70 to 85 degrees, and you're gonna wanna make sure you have pretty much heat light or heat lamp on it, because here in Florida we, are, we get killed with condensation and humidity and it destroys our paint jobs if we're doing them outside. So I ended up painting it outside so I don't have to mask everything down inside. And then when we brought it in, I did the clear coat and then we started the baking process. But it's pretty much clean to the touch right now. Super glassy, super soft. Everything's looking good. It's still, still curing probably for the next uh, day or two until it's like fully hardened and ready to go out. But you guys check it out. When you turn the light off, it almost turns like that blue. Like you see blue right there, crazy color. And then as soon as we turn this one off right here too, I'll show you. The entire engine bay is blue. So they, they match the calipers. It looks freaking amazing. Hey guys, check it out. Freaking glass. So I'm super stoked on that. And then uh, D was just giving me some motivation. He's like, bro, let's get that carbon fiber trunk on real quick. And I'm like, damn. Drop that shit. I've been wanting to do that for a while, bro. So, because <laughs> as soon as like I'm pulling up in that driveway and I see the car with that trunk on, it's going to make me want to drive it that much more. So. The extra motivation for you guys motivation. motivation so let's go ahead and put a carbon fiber trunk on so i'm gonna have to go through all of my car parts over here just buried over here let me get the headliner out the way move this chair um we also got our akibono rotors cut super clean over here look how shiny those are we also painted them so the middle of them are black they're looking super good let me just get all this out the way we're gonna grab our sabon carbon fiber trunk and we're gonna go ahead and put it on check it out guys so i just took out the sabon carbon fiber trunk as you guys can see, this thing is faded to hell. Like, this thing is done for on top. Um, still looking pretty good. Just needs to be cleaned up on the back here. Still has the clear coat on the underside on the back here because it didn't get destroyed by the sun. But, yeah, guys, Florida sun totally beat these things up. So, if you guys are going to get a carbon fiber trunk, um, I would recommend clear coating it on top of the clear coat that it comes with because uh, it could definitely help you. Uh, it could definitely save you the time and the effort and having to clear coat it again down the road like me. Since I got this newly found talent, you know, I'm a, I'm a painter now, pretty much a professional painter. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nowhere near. But um, I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to try and actually uh, clear coat this myself um, sometime down the road when I'm actually worrying about all the cosmetics on the G. Um, right now, I just want to get on because I miss having that nice G35 booty with the uh, with the carbon fiber duck bill. So, yeah, let's do it. But yeah, anyway, I, I'm going to want to clear coat this and bring out that shine in the carbon fiber again. Um, I was going to dip over the entire car and match this with it. But then there would be no point in having carbon fiber aside from the lightweight factor because you want to show it off. Oh my god, I can't stop looking at this engine bay. Anyway, taking a look over here at the roof, you can see the roof is like completely faded. Um, a lot of scratches, a lot of paint missing and whatnot, a lot of clear coat gone. Actually, no clear coat on it whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is probably sand it down and end up painting the roof myself. On the last G35, we did end up getting it wrapped. Um, we got it wrapped professionally by, uh, by my guys over in Boca, uh, Superior Tint. However, I'm pretty much a professional painter now, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and do this myself.
just kidding. I'm not, I'm not so much orange peel in here. It's crazy. But no, the only reason why like this looks super ripply is because this actually did get left out in the rain and the rain did get to it pretty much. Like you can't really see it from up here. It looks super glossy from up here. But once you look at it at a certain angle, it gets ripply. But that got a lot of drops of rain on it that ended up drying up and then I clear coated over that. So it looked worse before. I kind of flattened it out with the clear coat, kind of shined it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, we're kind of stuck with the way that that looks right now, but I don't really care because it's gonna be inside the engine, whatever. A couple more raindrops kind of landed on the front here because I did have the tarp over the whole engine. So the inside of the engine didn't really get any water on it, but it did rain a little bit right here. Maybe like a drop or two or three over there, but it looks amazing, not gonna lie. Kidnapping you, bro. Oh, that's, but you can get out because of this. <laughs> Yo, done, out of here, start running. Later. So oh, yeah, I was probably pulling this. Yeah, I was pulling that. I guess that's just, oh, that's to put the seat the down. Seat I'm an down. idiot. What the fuck? Like, that's to pull the trunk. Yeah, like, I'm supposed to open the trunk. Open the trunk, the trunk. Cause, hold up. Yeah. Let me open this. Hold on, right open quick. the trunk so I go open yeah, the trunk on, real quick. Yeah, me open the trunk and shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're going to leave one of these in here. Which one looks the best? I think that one looks the best. It's just a, we use a flathead screwdriver to okay. pop out this little back clip. I'm going to knock these out. And then, what is it? Uh, it's two. Oh, no, it's just these right here. It's these Torx. All right, so this is a T30 Torx bit. I took a ratchet to it. It's already kind of stripping a little bit So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the gun put a lot of force on it. See if we can break it loose I don't want to end up having to drill it out <laughs> Rip Oh, I got one I got two that's it the other two are perfect. <laughs> Sorry, it's easy to metal drill through Trunkless. That's the end of the video, guys. We're gonna be going trunkless. And that's it. Weight reduction. That's it. <laughs> Damn. So if anybody wants to buy a trunk, mint condition. Just, got a brake light too. Just, oh yeah, it's got a brake light and a wing, bro. Dope. The paint's a little fucked up, but you know, it's all good. I can paint it for you guys. Don't worry. Weight reduction here. Oh, what's good, son? Oh shit, son. What the fuck? Hey, hey what the hell? You were in here the whole time? <sighs> Fucking sleep, bro, bro. I just bought this car from somebody, bro. I swear, I didn't, I didn't do nothing. I fucking told you, you said you wanted another one. I said I'm going to sleep and I'm going to until you got it, dog. <laughs> Fuck. I know it was here already. <laughs> oh, shit. See, can you break out? Can you break out? Oh shit! With your finger, dog? With my finger, son. What? Yo, alright, let me check it out real quick. Oh my god, you're like a glove, dude. Oh, that boy. That's Yo. what we do. Yo, good shit. Let me get that. Let me get that dap up. Bum. Yeah, from the trunk, boy. Really weird with these circle tail lights. Yeah, yeah. Still throwing me off, and then that old bumper with the old diffuser. I gotta cut out that diffuser. Before I fucking spend another six hundred dollars on a rear bumper, dude. So clean, perfect, like all the way around, bro. Hell yeah, son. That's what we Thank do. you, bro. Appreciate our help, my dude. All right, guys. Just a quick little video for you guys. I know you guys would be excited to see us get that uh, that carbon fiber trunk back on the G35. So I just want to give you guys a huge shout out for watching this video. Make sure you smash that like button if you guys enjoyed. Huge shout out to D for always 
putting forth that work and helping That's us out we whenever we need it. So I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, guys, Candy Pain, stay tuned because uh, we got an engine to be dropping in soon. Oh, guys, I just got a crazy sponsorship opportunity, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be on the hush right now. But stay tuned. I got even more horsepower mods to add to the engine before we go ahead and drop it in. Super stoked on that. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, head over to AA-Supply.com. We got 20% off with New Year's 20. Get some G35 merch. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.